So FIG, in case you guys don't know, has a history of post-tensioning structures. <coughs> Excuse me. And also their structures failing by some way or another, right? How often do, how often do you hear this? Um, there it is again. FIG and Mueller had designed the, uh, and the, had the, uh, at the recommendation of FIG and Mueller, these are subcontractors that were hired by the, uh, the owner, uh, the contractor, and they use these fig bridge engineers and Mueller to to go over some numbers. And the original pad design was four foot by two foot, two feet thick, eight cubic feet, right? Um, and they they reduced it down to five foot square by one foot thick. They got it down to five foot by one foot. That is now down to what? Five cubic feet. They went from eight cubic feet down to five. This is where the uh, pad failed. Uh, the, the end result was they blamed the scaffolding contractor for not recognizing the cracks and uh, on the pad, that the pad was uh, failed, and, and he got a fine. But Fig is the one that changed that pad. It was a, it, here's the pad here. Fig changed it. I'm going to send you links to this stuff. These people died. This was 14 construction workers died. They fell quite a few feet. 60 feet, they, they were stuck on a scaffolding at one point. Let's see, let me go to the government accounting office for you guys and do this. So, so here's FIG right here. It says the uh, blah, 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 blah. So it's any Indiana Department of Highway owns it. Midwest Steel Erection Company Incorporated, the steel reinforcement and post-tensioning subcontractor. Uh, Athens and Industries Incorporated, the false works manufacturer. And Fig and Mueller Engineers Incorporated, the design of the ramp, according to the, an official of the eighth. See, so, so here you are here. They designed this ramp. It failed. It was dealing with, again, post-tensioning, the form work, and they ducked. They dived this one. They didn't, get, they didn't get jammed up on this on the depths of these people either. People ask me, are they going to get away with this one? Well, they got away with that one, didn't they? And this was back. I'm going to give you guys the link to this. This resulted in many deaths, and people watched. Let me show you the, the, the uh, okay. So let's go to, yeah. So this is called the, uh, I'm sorry, that's the judge giving an order about who to investigate. NTSB ducked out on this one because they said no cars were involved. Um, so that's their dive on that one. And let's go with this. Let me scroll. I'm going to send you, show you the uh, graphic. So you can see how, how terrible this was. At one point, at one point, there's a bridge were collapsing. Collapsing workers made it out to a bridge structure, and it's everywhere reported from two to five minutes later that structure collapsed while onlookers, rescue workers watched. Um, so here is a, here it is, 45 feet, etc. So fig. This is 1992, and again, this is fig. Fig again, duck, ducking out on this one. They're the ones that changed. Let me, I'm doing a search for you guys real quick. Uh, good. So let's see that. Right there. Fig. They're the ones that changed the, uh, the plans again. 1981 in the spring of 1992. So it's, it's nasty. Fig just keeps ducking one thing after another. Got ducked on the, uh, on the, on the, uh, one work con uh, I'm sorry, the scaffolding contractor. Another guy got a whole big $300 fine. Um, but Fig isn't even, did not go down in that one. Apparently did not go down in that one. Yet that cracking was from the pad. Let's see if I can get you that. The scaffolding failure was from the pad, the supports, that Fig rigged, uh, that they engineered. Federal investigators believe a weak concrete pad triggered the accident. Now you see that weak concrete pad, but yet Fig avoided avoided this one. So isn't that crazy? I just showed you that, and yet the scaffolding guy gets it. So Fig is going to, you know, they, they just Fig is like tied into our infrastructure in the United States, and they're just untouchable. This is just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Um, now, this is another FIG bridge. This is in the, uh, the Klein Avenue Bridge in November 2009, or condemned. Condemned it a month later after inspectors determined the bridge interior cables were badly corroded 
and the bridge was gravely weakened. The state paid $9 million to demolish the bridge in 2013. And here we go. Entered into agreement with the FIG to build a new privately owned and operated toll bridge. Isn't that crazy? This FIG is just, just tied in. Linda Fig said Monday she didn't know any of the details about the crash. She did return a call. She did not return a call. Uh, someone drove off the structure that they were supposed to be um, dealing with uh, because a barricade wasn't present. These barricades here wasn't present. They said somebody possibly moved them. They weigh 4,000 pounds. Who moved them? Right. Sure. Sure. All right. Looks like abutment. All right. I'll take care, guys. Just wanted to show you the figure just keeps diving one inch in and after another.